Hey guys, uh, welcome to another video. So this one's aimed at my year 10s, uh, and so I'm going to cover the more the foundation side of things. Uh, however, this is still really useful revision for top sets in year 9, and anyone who really has to cover Pythagoras. So we're going to be focusing on video 498 and 499 on Hegarty Maths today, and that's Pythagoras, long side and short side. So essentially, quick recap, Pythagoras is all about... Uh, right angle triangles and it has to be a right angle triangle for Pythagoras and what I'm quickly sketching here is a classic what we call Pythagorean triple now that just means it's a right angle triangle where all three sides are integers whole numbers um, and essentially even though I've not left room to draw it at the moment the Pythagorean theorem says if you square a and square b and add those two together it will equal the square of c so when we're labeling things like this, uh, it doesn't matter which one you label A and B, providing you are aware that C is always the hypotenuse. Okay, So C is your hypotenuse. Big posh math word. Just means side opposite the right angle. It's the longest side, which in a right angle triangle is opposite the right angle, I should say. Um, so in this case, if this is C then it doesn't matter which way around we're going to do this, because as you can see from the formula, we're going to square both sides first before adding them. So in this case, 3 squared add 4 squared should equal 5 squared. And 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16, 5 squared is 25. So, yeah, 25 equals 25. So that's that's good. Um, 3, 4, 5, as I say, is a non-calculator Pythagorean triple. So you can expect to find Pythagoras on both your calculator and your non-calc. If it's on a non-calculator, uh, at a foundation level, expect to see your Pythagorean triples, which are 3, 4, and 5, uh, 5, 12, and 13 are your most common ones, or any multiples of these. So obviously 6, 8, 10 is just twice as big, um, but the, the sides are twice as big. So you'll see that as well. On a higher paper, um, you absolutely can have Pythagoras again. And I would very much expect to see it with surds. So you'll have answers that require surds and simplifying of those surds. Um, but I just wanted to have a look at some questions that are going to pop up on 498 and just talk you through them today. So um, very, very simple. The first one that pops up on, uh, on video 498 is of the variety where it's saying it's labeling A, it's labeling B, labeling X. It's telling you that that's a right angle. It says, given that A is 15 and that B is 8, um, find X. So, first things first, square it. 15 squared is 225. 8 squared is 64. Because we're trying to find the long side, it falls perfectly within this. So we're going to add these together now. Uh, and that's going to equal... 289 and if you're not going to do those in your head absolutely use the calculator on your screen uh, uh, I forget which one with Microsoft 289 and then find my square root button you think I'd have planned this so, second function there we go so square root of 289 17 so just for your aware, if you have your own calculator, that's great. If not, you're going to unfortunately be relying on the old Microsoft one that comes with the computer. Um, and that's basically it. Notice I've showed it. I've showed my square in. I've showed that I've added them together. I should probably write that there. And then I've showed the square root of it. You want to try and put the basics of you working out on there. And let's see what other questions we might get asked. Okay, that's the same thing. It's just been rotated. The fact that we have uh, decimals doesn't mean anything. However... Round into three significant figures could confuse you, so we'll work that one out as well. So again, just give yourself a sketch of it. You have books. Don't be afraid of trying to put the information down on a piece of paper. So it's telling us this time that A is 12.8 uh, millimeters. B is 7.6 millimeters. So again, I'm just going to write underneath 12.8 squared equals 7.6 squared equals. Load up my calculator again. 12.8 squared is 
7.84 and 7.6 squared is 57.76. Once again, it's opposite the right angle, so I'm going to add these two together. Uh, 163.84 and that's 221.6. Classic mistake is to just leave it at that. Use common sense. Look at the sides you've been given. Roughly 8 centimetres, roughly 13 centimetres. Common sense should stand out now and say that's clearly not going to be 221. It's not going to be 2 metres long if that's 7 and that's 13. What have you forgot to do? We've got to square root it. So the square root of 221.6 is... And now this is giving me a big long number of 14.88623, yada, yada, yada. So it's a good time to revise your significant figures. Significant figures, mathematically speaking, significant just means important. So we've been asked for three significant figures. So we just count in one, two, three. We're going to cut it off there, not truncate it. We're going to round it after three. So it'd just be essentially the third significant figure is in the first decimal place. So we're just rounding this number to one decimal place. 14.88, the digit after the 8 is greater than 5, so our answer for this one's going to be 14.9. Let's flip this, because I'm not really sure where my screen, I think my screen's going to appear all here, so let's just turn this around. So finally then, on this one, if we look at question 5, it's not given as a picture, and it's just given as what can be often confusing looking letters. So A, B, C form a triangle. I'm just going to draw myself a right angle triangle then. Uh, where, and it gives us this funny angle symbol, B, A, C is 90. So B, A, C is 90. That means the angle formed by going from B to A to C is 90. Next, it tells me AB is 4.2. So from A to B is 4.2. And CA, from C to A, is 1.5. Find the length of BC. So this is my X, my unknown. It doesn't say I have to call it X, but I'm just used to calling the unknown X. So there we go. Give your answer to one decimal place. So once again, here's my two sides. I assess that since I'm after the side opposite the right angle, I'm after the long side, so it's going to be Pythagoras again, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So substitute in. We're going to square the two small sides. 4.2 squared plus, uh, equals, let's work that out individually first, 4.2 .2 squared is 17.64, 1.5 squared is 2.25 and since we've said that it's after a long side we're going to add them together which is 19.89 once again don't just think you're finished at this point square root your answer and the square root of 19.89 if you do get a messier answer on your calculator on the Microsoft version that I'm using on here, just literally keep whatever's on the screen and just press second function square root it. On your calculator, press the square root button first and then just press the ANS button at the bottom middle row for answer and it'll just load whatever's in your calculator into the into that. So this is going to give me 4.4598 uh, blah 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 and we've been asked to go to one decimal place. So straight in, we're going to chop it off and round to there. That number is... 5, so that's going to tick that one up. So to one decimal place, we are at 4.5. So I hope that helps with uh, video 498. I'm going to quickly load up 499 for you. And it's the same thing, but with a short side now. So if we go back to what we said earlier, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So short plus short, I should say short squared plus short squared equals long squared well if i just said 2 add 3 equals 5 which stands to reason that 5 take away 3 equals 2 or 5 take away 2 is 3 and so on and so forth well it works the exact same here if a squared add b squared is c squared then c squared minus b squared equals a squared in other words the long side squared minus the short side squared 
equals the other short side squared, and I can interchange A and B. What does that mean then? If I start with the easy question on uh, 499 on question 1, it's once again giving me the triangle, uh, A, B, and X, and then it gives me, it says given that A is 10 centimetres and B is 8 centimetres, work out X. Well, there's my right angle. I already have the hypotenuse, so I know that I'm after a, long, uh, a short side. A short side is the one that's touching the right angle. So I'm going to subtract. Square the largest side. 10 squared, 100. Square the shortest side. 8 squared equals 64. This time I'm going to subtract. 100 takes 64 is 36. You'll find this is a non-calculator question. Once again, make sure you use common sense. If I know that this is the longest side, and it is because it's opposite the right angle, my answer's got to be less than 10. So at this point, common sense should kick in. I've got to do one final thing. I've got a square root, 36, and the square root of 36 is 6. As I mentioned earlier, 6, 8, 10 is just double 3, 4, 5, which is a Pythagorean triple. Uh, so let's see what we've got again. Works the same with decimals. We've not done one of those. Okay, this would be a nice one to show you then. So let's just make sure that you can see it. Get rid of this. So question five on uh, video 499, or at least what it's showing me is question five, it is giving me a picture. It's giving me these two lines going there, which of course means it is an isosceles triangle. We've got a line of symmetry. These lines mean that these two sides are the same length. It's labeling this one as X. So given that A is 9 centimeters, find X to three significant figures. Well, think about this one. We've just got to be a little bit more smart here. If that's X, then that side is also X. And Pythagoras tells us that X squared, and we're going to square that side as well, and then we would add them together to get the large side. So hopefully you can see where I've got this from. Square the short side, square the other short side, add them together. Well, let's add them together. Let's simplify that. X squared add X squared is 2X squared. And that's going to equal to 9 squared. Might as well make that easier now. 81. Now we can start thinking about how to solve it. It's an equation. I don't want two x squareds. I want to end up with something down here that's x equals. So the first thing is I don't want two x squareds. I just want one x squared. To do that, I have to divide the left side of the equation by two. So I've got to divide the right side of the equation by two. So x squared is going to be 40.5. Now, I don't want the square of x. I just want x. So I have to square root it. So I have to square root it to keep the balance. So x equals the square root of 40.5. And again, calculator for you, 40.5, square root is 6.3639. And the question has asked us to do it to three significant figures. So once again, count in, one, two, three. It's asking us to round after the second decimal place to the right of that six is less than five. So we round off. Remember, you never round down, just round off. So 6.36. That should hopefully do you, do you sound for uh, videos 498, 499. Give it a try. Uh, if you're still stuck, let me know, and I'll try and knock something else for you together. I hope you're well. Stay safe and stay at home, I suppose.